Hey guys, so I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of how to find flights via Google Flights and then how to book them. So the first thing that you want to do is just go to your internet browser and type in google.com in the search bar. Then once you get to Google's website, you're going to type in Google Flights and then click Google Flights here. Then once you get to the Google Flights page, you can change your flight to being round trip one way or multi-city here if you want. We're just going to keep it at round trip. And then you can change the airport that you're leaving from here. So we're going to stay with Raleigh. Then over here, you put where you're going to. We're going to put in Aruba. So you always want to choose the actual airport. So you know it's an airport because it has this little plane beside it. All of these are just locations in Aruba, so it wouldn't really give you any flights. So we're going to click the airport, and then you're going to click inside the date box for departing. And it comes up with this window, and it shows you all the dates for all um, any day that you want to go to Aruba. So you can plan out like as far ahead in advance as you want and look at dates. The green shows you the cheapest flight for um, that month. And then the gray shows you just normal prices for the flight. Once you choose a day that you're leaving, so if we choose February 7th, the prices will update um, to show you how much it would cost to come back on every day. So, for example, if we left on the 7th, came back on the 8th, then it would cost us $340, like the cheapest flight. If we left on the seventh, came back on the twelfth, it would cost the cheapest flight would cost us three hundred and nineteen dollars. So we're gonna just go with the twelfth and then click done. Then all of the possible flights show up. So it usually shows you the cheapest flight first. It the airline will be here. And then it shows you the time of the flight that it's leaving, the time it gets there. This little plus one means that you're adding a day. So, for example, you would be leaving on February 7th, but you wouldn't get there until February 8th. The middle shows you the duration of the flight. So this one would be 24 hours. And then it tells you if you have any layovers and then how long they are and where they are. So this one would have a... 19 hour 27 minute layover in Fort Lauderdale and then this little like alert sign um, tells you that the layover is overnight over here is the price of the flight and then this little like bag with the line marked through it means that there's no overhead bin access um, so you would not be able to bring luggage on this flight you can click down that to the arrow and it'll show you more details of the flight like the travel time for each flight and then there's details over here so we're not going to choose that one we're going to choose this one with american airlines then once you choose your departing flight it automatically takes you to the returning flights so again the cheapest flight is at the top and then the more expensive flights are down here so you can click the arrow and get more details about like when you would leave and when you would come back. This one has an hour 41 minute layover in Charlotte. And then there's some details of the flight here. So we're going to choose this top one. So once you've chosen both flights, it shows you them both together. This part does not matter because you're going to be booking through the airline anyway. So once you're ready to book, you can press select and this part down here will just give you like a range of how much it usually costs to fly to Aruba and if you're getting a good deal or not. So we're on the lower end of like the middle spectrum with the 471. So we're going to press select and it will take you to the airline's website. So once you get here, usually they ask you if you want to upgrade or not. So the ticket that we just chose is a basic economy ticket. So there's going to be restrictions for the 471 that we saw. Or we can upgrade to the main cabin and have like more options is like choosing our seat and being eligible for upgrades. 
for $30 extra. So it just depends on what you want to pay and what is important to you as far as your flight. So we're just going to accept the restriction. <coughs> Sorry, Benji's barking. So once you accept the restrictions, it takes you to where you can just book your flight um, like normal. So you would just fill out all this information and then book your flight. And that's it. So it's really easy. All you have to do is just play around with the dates a bit. Once you figure out like where you want to go, play around with what days are best and the cheapest options. So if any of you guys have questions, feel free to comment or DM us. Let us know what your questions are. We're happy to help.